What's up guys? Welcome back. I'm Lorena from Green Healthy Cooking and today, today I am going to show you the most amazing recipe on Green Healthy Cooking. Forget about the turkey for Christmas, Thanksgiving and all that. Make a slow roasted leg of lamb. So the actual work time is minimal. It takes 15 minutes to prep everything, put it in the oven for 10,000 million hours, and then you flip it, and then you put it back in the oven, and then you make the gravy, and that's it. So actual work time, you're maybe going to need 25 minutes tops. Okay, so first things first, you have to have two small onions or quarter one large onion. You don't need to peel it. Maybe just peel the first little layer or give it a quick rinse, cut it, with the skin on, then take a whole bulb of garlic and slice it horizontally. Again, no need to peel anything. Leave the peel on and the papery stuff and everything, all of it, just leave it on. Cut it horizontally. And now we're just going to add that horizontally sliced garlic, that chopped up onion into a medium sized baking dish. We're also going to add two sprigs of rosemary, two stalks of celery and one carrot. Again, no need to peel, just give it a quick scrub. Add that all to the bottom, kind of in the center of your baking dish. And then grab your boneless lamb leg. Yes, I prefer boneless because we're really going to shred it and it takes a little less time to roast. So I'm using a boneless leg of lamb. It's about four and a half pounds. And I'm going to put the fatty part on top because I'm going to season it generously with sea salt and pepper on that side. And then I'm going to flip it because the fatty part is the one that's going to sit in the liquid later on. So then you sprinkle some sea salt and pepper on this other side. And now we're going to add the liquid that we're going to be cooking everything in, which is four cups of beef bone broth. Either make your own or buy store-bought, both are fine. Then add a cup of red wine. Now I urge you not to use the cheapest wine. Don't use those cart wines, you know, those that come like in a tetra pack. Um, don't use super cheap yucky wine. It doesn't have to be the most expensive, but you have to like the taste of the wine itself. And don't worry, this recipe is absolutely suitable for children. All the alcohol in the wine will evaporate during the cooking process. So it's child friendly, no problem. But the wine gives the gravy an amazing, amazing flavor. So add about a cup of some sort of red wine that you like. Then use about a tablespoon of olive oil and drizzle that on top because remember the fatty part is at the bottom. We don't want the top part to dry out. So use about a tablespoon of olive oil. Use your hand to smother it all. Place something on top of your baking dish. Now I have two baking dishes that are exactly the same size. So I'm lucky I don't need to use aluminum foil. I can just flip over the other baking dish, put it on top. But if you don't have one like this, then you can just use aluminum foil. Tend your leg of lamb and make sure that you press it on the sides so you get a fairly tight seal. It doesn't have to be super mega tight, but a good tight seal. And then we're going to place this in the 325 degree preheated oven for four hours. Yes, we want to slow roast so it becomes fall apart tender. So you place that in the oven for four hours and after the four hours you're going to take it out of the oven, remove the baking dish or aluminum foil or whatever you use and then use some tongs and maybe a spatula or something and flip the leg of lamb since there is no bone in there, there's nothing it can attach to so it will pretty much fall apart fine don't worry just use your tongs and your spatula do the best job you can flip the whole piece of meat and then return it into the oven for 40 minutes uncovered so this time we're going to put it in uncovered so it gets nice and brown on top and after the 40 minutes it's almost time to eat so you're going to remove it from the oven take your lamb and you're going to want to keep it warm so what I like to do is I use a large pan that has a lid on it so I put that in the pan but you can also use a serving platter and again tent it with the same aluminum foil you've been using for cooking maybe and now we're going to prepare the gravy so to prepare the gravy you're going to want to first strain all the liquid because we don't want any of the vegetables and the 
skin of the onion or this or the papery skin of the garlic we just want the pure liquid so we're going to strain it through a colander and then you have two options you can either use a spoon to kind of ladle out the fat that will rise to the top or you can use a fat separator this tool has come in so handy in my cooking life i highly recommend it it's not expensive at all get a fat separator that has the spout at the bottom because as i said all the fat floats to the top so you can pour it into there and then start pouring into a pan where we're going to prepare the gravy and the fat will keep floating at the top and right before you reach the fat you stop pouring and you leave the fat out now the reason you want to remove the fat even when you're not concerned about calories is flavor a gravy that has a lot of fat in it just tastes oily and doesn't have the depth of the delicious regular gravy that you would get in a five-star restaurant now that you have all your fatless liquid in a large pan you're going to want to add a cornstarch slurry i've tried this recipe with a flour but it takes forever to thicken and we don't want our lamb to get cold and we really want to eat right so i recommend cornstarch slurry i know cornstarch is highly processed but it's so little and it's only the gravy so i think we're going to be fine this time so add about two tablespoons of cornstarch to a small bowl add a little bit of cold water about two to three tablespoons and then use a little spoon and stir and stir and stir and stir until all the cornstarch is dissolved in the water and then add that to your gravy and immediately whisk because otherwise clumps will form so you whisk it all in and then you turn on your burner you don't want super boiling hot sauce and then add the cornstarch layer because it'll become just a clump so you first add it and then turn on the stovetop uh, medium heat so you really get it to a nice boil and you want to constantly stir 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 all the time so you notice right away when you reach the consistency that you like if for some reason you got distracted and it's too thick don't worry just add a little bit of water whisk it quickly again once it has the consistency that you like you immediately remove it from the heat and pour it into where you're going to be serving the gravy in because you don't want it to continue cooking with the heat off the pan so now it's time to serve serve your meat on a nice platter it's butter it's literally it falls apart you can use a fork just one fork one hand and it just completely falls apart pour your gravy over it and enjoy it's so so yummy i hope you give this recipe a try if you do don't forget to snap a picture now this time it's really important i want to see your legs of lamb i want to see your faces when you're eating them so yummy and if you've enjoyed this recipe i have a super amazing dessert for you bye